Uh, good morning, everyone, and can I welcome members to the 14th meeting in 2017 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. We received apologies this morning from Monica Lennon. Agenda item one is instruments subject to affirmative procedure, and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the first instrument before the committee today, which is the draft public bodies, joint working, prescribed local authority functions, etc., Scotland Amendment Regulations 2017. So is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Thank you. Move to agenda item two, which is instruments subject to negative procedure. And the next instrument for consideration is the Forestry Environmental Impact Assessment, Scotland Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 113. And the purpose of these regulations is to amend and consolidate the Environmental Impact Assessment Forestry Scotland Regulations 1999 in order to implement Directive 2014-52-EU. Our legal advisers have identified that the regulations could be clearer in respect of Regulation 14-4-A and 15-5-A. The regulations also contain a drafting error as Regulation 15-2-A is inconsistent with Regulation 12 2 B2. And what is that? I, I, is it? And the equivalent provisions in the Electricity Works Environmental Impact Assessment Scotland Regulations 2017 considered at our meeting last week. So, accordingly, does the committee agree to draw the regulations to the attention? of the Parliament under Reporting Grounds H, as the meaning of certain provisions could be clearer, and under the general reporting ground, due to the inconsistency I have just mentioned. Thank you. Does the committee also agree to welcome the Scottish Government's intention to bring forward an amending instrument to rectify these errors? Thank you. Next. Instrument for Considerations, the Agriculture, Land Drainage and Irrigation Projects, Environmental Impact Assessment, Scotland Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 114. Purpose of these regulations is to update and replace the Environmental Impact Assessment, Agricultural Scotland Regulations 2006, and Part 4 of the Environmental Impact Assessment Scotland Regulations 1999 in order to implement Directive 2014-52-EU. Our legal advisers have identified that the definition of project in Regulation 2.1 used throughout the regulations could be clearer. There is also an instance of defective drafting as the definition of scoping opinion in Regulation 2.1 one includes an informal drafting comment which should have been omitted before the instrument was made. Accordingly, does the committee agree to draw the regulations to the attention of Parliament under reporting ground H as the regulations could be clearer and also under ground I as there is an instance of defective drafting due to that informal drafting comment? Are we agreed? Agreed. Thank you. So does the committee also agree to welcome the Scottish Government's intention to bring forward an amending instrument to rectify these errors? Agreed. Thank you. Next item for consideration is the Marine Works Environmental Impact Assessment Scotland Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 115. And the purpose of these regulations is to replace the Marine Works Environmental Impact Assessment Regulations 2007 in order to implement Directive 2014-52-EU in Scotland. Our legal advisers have identified that the regulations contain instances of defective drafting as regulations 40 to 42 purport to revoke and make transitional provision in respect of the 2007 regulations, which are not defined. In addition, paragraphs 19 and 20 of Schedule 1 and paragraph 3K of the table 
in Schedule 2 refer to the CCS Directive, which is also not defined. There are also instances where the regulations could be clearer. Regulation 11.2 refers to the date of the request, but it was intended to refer to the date of receipt of the request. It is also not clear if Regulation 16.1 permits publication of an EIA report other than by notice, and whether such an alternative method of publication would engage Regulation 16.2. In addition, there are some relatively minor drafting errors in, regulation, in relation to cross-referencing in Regulation 34.4b and c, and the word regulation, which is missing in the third line of Regulation 41. Accordingly, does the committee agree to draw the regulations to the attention of Parliament under reporting grounds I, as there are instances of defective drafting in regulations 40 to 42 and paragraphs 19 and 20 of Schedule 1 and paragraph 3K of the table in Schedule 2. Also under reporting round H, as the regulations could be clearer, and also under the general reporting ground in relation to the minor drafting errors I have mentioned. So, do members agree to these reportings? Agreed. Agreed. Thank you. Also, does the committee agree to welcome the Scottish Government's intention to bring forward an amending instrument to rectify these errors? Agreed. Thank you. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Disabled Persons Badges for Motor Vehicles Scotland Amendment Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 118. So is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Many thanks. Uh, we now move to Agenda Item 3, which is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Air Weapons and Licensing Scotland Act 2015, Commencement Number 6 and Saving Provisions Order 2017, SSI 2017 Number 119, or the Mental Health Scotland Act 2015, Commencement Number 3 Order 2017, SSI 2017, number 126. So, is the committee content with these instruments? Content. Thank you. Um, and finally, um, I want to inform you that our next meeting we will consider a draft of the contract Third Party Rights Scotland Bill report at stage one, as well as our regular consideration of SSIs. And there being no further business,